we got two special guests with us right now. Yes, the Las Vegas Sun just had their Sun Standout Awards. We got the managing editor of the Sun, Ray Brewer, with us, along with Gatorade Player of the Year, volleyball player from Bishop Gorman, Ayana Watson. Ayana, great to be with you as well. Guys, look at this shirt right here. I mean, that is a beauty. I wish I was at this award show. Ray, next year, as the MC, you better be giving me one of these invites, okay? <laughs> yes, right away. Let's talk about this for a second. Um, you know, Ayana, you got the Rising Star Award, but Ray, this is a really special award ceremony in general. How did you come up with this idea, and what does this mean for our community and young student athletes? Well, so the, the great part about the award show is that we look at not just the, the sports that get all the publicity, right? We know about Gorman football, or we know about the great basketball that's played here, but we don't often talk about the great tennis scene we have, or the stud volleyball players, or a swimmer that shattered a record, or a track runner. And we definitely don't talk about the student athletes, the 4.8 weighted grade point average, wow. or the kid that's waking up at 5 a.m. to make uh, sandwiches for the rescue mission. So our show is able to solicit nominations about all the cool things kids are doing, not just on the athletic field, but in the community and in the classroom. And we get to bring them all together and celebrate their good achievements. It's an awesome program, awesome show, and I'm glad to celebrate her and to celebrate all the student athletes out there. And before I talk to Ayana, tell us, I mean, why did you guys choose, why did the committee choose Ayana for Rising Star Award this So year. We, we solicited nominations for like four months and we got more than 150 and we get a group of nine athletic directors, media members, and we get the list and we look at their achievements and her category was stacked, right? We had a flag football player that passed for a state record 7,000 yards. We had a Gatorade Player of the Year in basketball who like single-handedly ended a, a, a basketball dynasty. Mm -hmm. um, we had a softball player who is probably one of the elite softball players. So this in was the a nation. tough task. Correct. In fact, we weren't able even to judge it until after the softball season ended. So it, it came down kind of to the wire. A lot of great freshmen and sophomore out there. And just if you look at the sports, basketball, softball, yeah. girls flag football, volleyball, a wide range. So we know that she's really good against the other volleyball players in her age group and throughout town. But how does she compare with that that one basketball player? Or how does she compare with the, the, the softball player? Well, she won state, so there you go. And the softball player lost in the semifinals. But the other girl from Gorman won right. state as well. Uh, so it's, it's there's a lot of nuance. I correct. Can see, yeah, and absolutely. It's tough and you know, but it is incredible the season you've had. Uh, tell us what did the ceremony mean to you getting this award? You're a decorated athlete. I'm sure you're already Gatorade Player of the Year. But what did this award specifically mean to you to share it with your family, your friends, and to be Las Vegas, uh, you know, born and raised person? Tell us what that meant. Yeah. So I mean, I just think it was really cool. Like the whole ceremony in general. Uh, I've never been to anything like that before, so it was just like a new experience for me. The award itself, I wasn't really, I wasn't really expecting it because there are so many other great people in my category, like you said, like my friend Aaliyah sitting next to me, Gatorade Player of the Year for basketball, really good. So yeah, I just think it was really exciting. When you hear these stats, let's go through the stats. 605 kills, 373 digs, 56 aces, 52 blocks. I mean, that's a lot. Right there. Those are some <laughs> crazy stats. Uh, what do you think is it about you and your game, your approach? Why are you the Gatorade Player of the Year? How are you able at such a young age as a sophomore to be this decorated, this incredible? Well, I couldn't have done any of that without like the rest of my teammates. Volleyball is such a team-oriented sport because you have to have one person that passes, one person that sets, and someone else who puts the ball away. So I just, I really like to give it all to my teammates because they're really important to me and without them couldn't even have one state or anything. That's a great thing and so let's talk about even your you know your pedigree and your family your dad CJ Watson he's been on mo many of our shows he's a great guy in the community what has his uh, teaching as a father as a, as a mentor in, in an athletic family what has that meant to you? My dad has just always pushed me he has a really great work ethic and my mom the same my mom didn't go like professionally for soccer or anything, but she was still like a great athlete. So they both kind of know like what I need to do to get to where I want to go, like college wise or professionally, just in general. And, you know, Ray, uh, I mean, 
covering the sports scene here, I mean, listen, Las Vegas is becoming such a major sports town factory when we're seeing all these great athletes coming out of high school here and then going to make an impact at the next level. What does it mean to you? What, what has it been like for you to witness the rise of so many great athletes here in our city? Yeah, it's impactful because um, the relationships that I've been able to get over the years through high school sports is 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 just awesome. And I remember when CJ got the Gorman, her dad, and he had a big shot in the corner, Gorman won state, and you're like, wow, you know, we beat a, a Reno team, I have this, this kid, he might be good, he might go on to college. Yeah. And now it's like, you know, Gorman's eighth man has got 12 offers and can't even get on the wow. on the floor. Right? You saw Zach Collins, he was like the right. third big man there, Zaga. and now he's eight years in the NBA and he's, he's got a great, a great contract. And as the Valley's expanded, it starts with the infrastructure at the youth level, yeah. right? She's a great volleyball player because she's on a great club team with great coaches and she's coming to her high school right. ready to go and prepared. And um, it's just been fun to watch the Valley grow and, and to see where a show like yours still values giving the kids coverage because, right, the Golden Knights won the Stanley Cup. You know, the NFL owns the air and the world on Sundays. The Aces have won two titles in a row. The A's are coming into town. And, to, you know, for these kids, it's very important. And this is their their ground. And they're going to go on to college and, and represent our community. And they love Las Vegas. Yeah. And that's cool. It's a special thing. Real quickly before I let you guys go, Ayana. So the thrill. I mean, a new, you know, volleyball team here in town. How exciting is that? And, you know, what what is your what do you want for your future when it comes to volleyball? Yeah, I'm thrilled. They're just, they're great to watch all the time. My club director, Ruben Herrera, he is like the president. So um, after practices, sometimes we'd like, we'd all get together and we'd drive to the games and it'd just be really fun to watch. But for me personally, it's like really nice to see because that's somewhere where I want to be in the future, like playing professionally. So yeah. All right. Any advice to kids out there who want to be you on this couch? <laughs> Um, Gatorade Player of the Year <laughs> with uh, 605 kills. <laughs> Probably just to stay dedicated and determined. Don't let like what other people think you should do affect what you really want. Because yeah, a lot of everybody else has their views on like what you should be. So you just have to stay with what you think. All right, I love it. All right, guys, thank you so much, Ray Brewer, Ayana Watson. Thank you guys for everything and. There you have it. We got a Gatorade Player of the Year as well as a rising star with uh, the Las Vegas Sun uh, Standout Awards. Ray, thanks so much for that great concept you dreamt up. Next year, I better have an invite. Appreciate okay. it. I'm going to Gator- choose between the salmon and the steak, something like yes. that. Yes. Gatorade okay. Player of the Year, somebody who likes to drink Gatorade. Okay, so there you go. I'm a Gatorade Zero guy. And I, I just had a colonoscopy and I drank a lot of that yes. stuff. But we'll save that for another segment. All right, guys, thank you so much.